10th of July, 1042, 2021. This is a log hive that had a swarm on the 1st of June, I think it was. Um, it's a log hive um, that's based on a Polish design. So it's a solid piece of larch, stands about five foot tall, <clears throat> and it was hollowed out through a uh, four inch slot, so that was quite difficult to do. So that light piece of wood you can see, which is uh, here, that's the slot that was made. Um, the log was excavated and then that piece of wood which is larch piece of wood which is large um, was then placed in, in the front. Uh, I'll get a bit closer but I'll stop talking because obviously the scent of my breath uh, is not um, pleasant to bees. It's something that can actually uh, disturb them. So I'll stop talking and move closer and see how we get on. Yeah, I don't know if the phone picked it up there, but there was a, a bee that was letting me know that um, I wasn't welcome. <laughs> yeah, they certainly settled in. Uh, let me just try one more time. Perhaps if I try it from over here, so I'm not so close. Perhaps they won't get so upset. see from this distance. I'm going to try and get close one more time. <laughs> Wish me luck. Yeah, plus I'm in the way of their flight path because the it's actually quite secluded here. You wouldn't know there was bees. If I step back, without falling over, it just sort of disappears under the apple tree. So this is the corner of an allotment in Cambridge, UK. Uh, yeah, log was made year before last. It was put in sight uh, last year. I didn't get any bees but this year we did and I've posted another clip which actually shows the bees arriving which is an absolutely phenomenal event and I'm so fortunate to see that I mean the whole event only takes about 20 minutes and you wouldn't realize there's bees inside quite incredible these are obviously pumping absolutely I mean, look at that traffic um, That's fantastic. So the walls of this uh, log are four, five, six inches thick, um, and uh, above the hive, 
there is uh, must be six or seven inches of solid wood capped with a piece of um, roofing felt to stop water coming in and down and spoiling the wood but also it acts as a heat sink so any heat from the sun is uh, warmed up by the black felt and also it's stored up there so during the winter when it's minus two out and the bees are maintaining the temperature of between 93 and 95 degrees they're, it's easier for them and they're less stressed lovely dark colour All that traffic. That's a lot of traffic. I mean, today it is uh, quite warm, really, muggy, um, no sun, pretty cloudy. Obviously, these bees have um, are thinking ahead. While well, it's warm and there's nectar about. They'll be building comb and filling that nectar, producing brood, which then goes and gets more nectar. Just so come winter time and they close the hive uh, down, they can survive. Fantastic, let's try one more time, shall we? We're feeling lucky. Incredible. So the idea is that uh, the bees are left alone, they're, they're not fed, they have no chemical treatments, the honey is not taken, there's no interference whatsoever, so bees can do what they do. Uh, this way you build up um, good breeding stock in the environment, so um, when virgin queens go off to mate, they'll be mating with drones that have come from hives like this so it would improve it improves the genetic stock it would choose the, improve the genetics of the bees in the locality I mean, you look in somewhere like america where i think it's um 50 percent failure rate over the winter of bees it tells you something is wrong bees don't need people yeah, fantastic. A great success story there. So this is Gary's log. He bought it for a present uh, for his wife. And I'm so glad that um, it's done so well.